Hey, what's up guys? My name is Avery. Today I wanted to show you guys a small program that I found. I saw it on Reddit the other day and I actually worked a little bit on it myself and it's called Pixelate. So the point of this program is you can see right here, you can send a random picture in any picture you want and it actually has a calculation where this guy said he actually made it so he takes the program and he pixelates it. It's not just scaling it down, it actually does a lot of things. And I just wanted to show you guys a simple way on how to use this program yourself. So I'll have the link for this GitHub repo in the description. You can see right here. You just copy this and put it in your terminal or anything like that. And you can install its program itself. And I'll go ahead and I'll install it right into your computer. The readme on this thing actually goes in detail and it says how to use the library itself within your own program. And it also has a little command line tool. So we're going to go ahead and actually just use the command line tool and I'll just turn a picture into something else. So let's just open up this picture right here, I'll show it to you, and this picture right here, which is a Call of Duty background picture, and we're going to go ahead and change it, we're going to pixelate it. So to do that, we'll just call his program, which I have saved right here as Pix2, and we'll give it an output. The output directory I created is just called T5. And input will be this co.jpg. And as you can see, he has some other options. He has a way to factor it, he has colors and dither and scale. And in his sample program, he shows some of them things that you should do. So, factor is 14, so let's just go ahead and change it to that. And color. We'll set our color to 6 and our dither, dither to true. Dither, assume that's going to be a 1. And we'll click enter. And as we can see, it generated it. There's no warnings, no errors. It said it was done. And it said it was saved in here. So it opened that up. Let's see what we got out of there. And it should be the same file name. And as you can see right here, pixelated the image and if you were to change the factor the color it's going to make the image adjust it a little bit and it's going to do that every single time this program that he had right here it just make it so you can use um, matplotlib which is going to compare the two images so I actually have that right here and if you were to run the program on the picture it's going to generate it like so. It might take a second. And you map plot lib and it compares the two graphs together and you can see the individual images side by side. You can save them. And yeah. And along with that, I'll have the link to a repo that I used where I made a GUI with it. And I believe it's in here as well. Um, I'll have the link in the description. And it's right here basic GUI. In this program you can go ahead and install it yourself too and I'll quickly show you guys how this works as well. This GUI does almost the exact same thing it's just the GUI version of it. So we can go ahead and open a file, go up one, add this image right here and we click open. And as you can see, it opened the file right here. It sets the default to the same default he had. And click pixelate. It may take a few seconds. And as you can see, it changed right there. Let's say we change the color. We make it so there's more color and there's a lower factor. It's going to make the quality a little bit better. And let's see what that does in a second. As you can see, that right there. You can click the compare button. And I'll have the sample program that he had. It'll pop up in the map, the map, map plot lib right here compares both of them and you can also click the save button and it'll save it as this right here it just has pics to the front and it saves it so let's go ahead and save that right there and it's just taking this picture and saving it into this file but it's as simple as that if you guys want to take artwork and pixelate it say for your game or anything like that or you want a cool background um, just go ahead and Check out the links in the description if you can do it from the command line. Just download his program. But if you want a GUI for it, also go ahead and download it from mine repo as well. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like. It helps me make more videos just like this. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I make videos similar to this, and I also make game development videos almost every single day. Our goal by the end of the month is to reach 500 subs. We're at 436 right now, and if you guys can subscribe, that will really help us out. And see you guys next time. Bye.